Hello guys welcome back to our anime explainer. Today is explanation of upcoming episode Throne of Seal based on novel. Guys please like the video and subscribe to my channel. So let's start. What happened? Kia asked Gao Ingjia with some nervosity. Gao Ingjia replied with a rough voice, if I haven't guessed wrongly, the light elemental fairy that fused with Houchen should be undergoing a process of evolution. He was right, the light elemental fairy was indeed evolving. At the time the light elemental fairy fused with Long Houchen, she felt Long Houchen's physique as sign of light and released all her physical and mental capabilities, planning to fuse completely into Long Houchen's body. Although she was frightened for a brief moment by how you are, this couldn't affect the light elemental fairy's feelings of acknowledgement for Long Houchen. Just like a light unicorn had by nature kind-hearted traits, a sign of light was bound to have an easy-to-get-close to nature and a heart of gold. This made the light elemental fairy throw away all her worries. Although this light elemental fairy was in a quite weak state, her wounds healed at fast speed and her body was restored in the process of fusion with Long Houchen. Her purity was only second to the purity in Long Houchen's body, and at the same time the two entities fused perfectly, another change appeared in the saint's spiritual stove. The fusion between the scion of light and a light elemental fairy was naturally a perfect fusion between two pure existences. It could be said that no one had a body as fitting for fusing with the light elemental fairy as him. But Long Houchen's saint spiritual stove also underwent another evolution, exploiting perfectly the previous situation, pure sunlight fire emanating from within it. It was the sunlight fire continuously released outside. The addition of the light elemental fairy could be said to have perfectly developed Long Houchen's physique as sign of light, his affinity of light shooting up incredibly. Further adding the assistance of the light elemental fairy, the condensed spiritual energy was just too massive. It changed not only Long Houchen's body, but also transformed the light elemental fairy itself. Having undergone a process of magnification for a few days, the finally fused light elemental fairy had her first evolution. Any elemental fairy could at least evolve three times. Each evolution would increase their ability greatly. As for whether they would be able to keep evolving after the third time, it depended to their own luck. Without a doubt, everyone in the first soldier grade demon hunt squad only felt excited to see the light elemental fairy evolve after the process of fusion. In particular, to Saima Zian and Han Yu, an even richer light essence meant that their cultivation speed would accelerate even more greatly. Everyone gained some benefits, bathed in the aura of light, their bodies and the attributes of their spiritual energy would gain some improvements, with only positive effects. In fact, holy fire was a powerful ability only knights of the seventh step possessed. And furthermore, this holy fire ignited in Long Houchen was just too massive. At this very moment, the light essence had taken the distinct shape of a fairy, a magnificent enlarged fairy of flame, floating at his back. This implied that Long Houchen's light elemental fairy started her second evolution. This was the sign of light, the formidable sign of light. At this very moment, with a bright spark of light from his chest, a one-third of a meter long golden radiance appeared in front of him, and with a sharp and clear incantation, the bright light covered Long Houchen's body, forming a golden armor, solving the awkward situation of Long Houchen's burned clothes. And from his chest, the perfectly fused light elemental fairy appeared. Only, she had currently become completely different from before. First, there was a change in her appearance. The light elemental fairy originally let out a white radiance, but it now turned golden and was full of sacred aura. Her body also grew to approximately twice its former size, looking now almost real. And in between her eyebrows, a brilliant gem had appeared, making her even more valiant. At her back, her two transparent wings had currently evolved into two pairs, making her flying silhouette looking even more stable. I have made everyone wait quite long. The bright light in Long Houchen's eyes diminished slowly, returning them to their limpid appearance. Standing up, his eyes looked extremely apologetic. Saima Zian laughed heartily, it wasn't long, it wasn't long at all. If not for the support of your fusion, I don't know how long I would have taken to break through to the fifth step. It could be said that aside from himself, the ones who benefited the most of this evolution were Saima Zian and Han Yu. In particular, Saima Zian had broken through the bottleneck of the fifth step and finally obtained liquid internal spiritual energy. Gao Ingjia declared to him, with a smile, you are finally awake. Nonetheless, 
you're giving me too many good surprises. The light elemental fairy unexpectedly evolved twice. Let alone having seen this, I have never even heard about this kind of thing happening before. It looks like the relation between the two of you is not an ordinary one. With a lift of his hand, the mentally connected light elemental fairy flew to his palm. Eyeing the beautiful fairy of light, Long Houchen smiled, she told me that her name is Yating. Congratulations for having obtained your second spiritual stove, master. Han Yu said to Long Houchen with a smile. Chen Yinger frowned with concern, but I didn't break through. Why is it that I don't have light attribute? Wang Yuan Yuan replied in disdain, you summoners are existences close to the non-elemental type. Since you can summon creatures of so many different kinds, what kind of element would you want? Spiritual energy. Around the saint's spiritual stove, a golden ring had already formed. At the same time, the liquid spiritual energy increased in thickness, its volume naturally multiplied by a decent amount. Long Houchen knew clearly that the fact his liquid spiritual energy became viscous implied that his internal spiritual energy had increased. When using it, his consumption of spiritual energy would be reduced while his power would also increase greatly. As for how high his cultivation level had reached, he was also quite curious. Not declining the suggestion, he gripped the internal spiritual energy testing gem and slowly inserted his energy. After a short time, except for the unwavering Kia, everyone appeared completely dull. Lin Shin swallowed a big gulp of his own saliva, three. Three thousand, Saima Zian murmured, it's 3162, the sixth rank of the fifth step. Captain, you are already a sixth ranked earth knight. Let alone the others, Long Houchen was also astonished. He honestly didn't expect that, with his fusion with Yating, he would actually directly gain more than a thousand units of spiritual energy. With such a boost, his cultivation level became the highest among all of his team members. Just like Saima Zian said, Long Houchen's improvements were massive. But this was closely related to his special physique, as the sign of light. His fusion with Yating produced three enormous bursts of pure light essence. Over the course of forty days of the fusion, Long Houchen's body as the sign of light had been completely aroused. And he didn't know that every time Yating evolved, his own innate internal energy would increase by a level. Thus, Long Houchen's innate internal spiritual energy had reached 99, which was only second to Kia's score of 100. Although there was no important change between the first and the sixth rank, only an increase of the output of spiritual energy, Long Houchen was now another step closer to the sixth step. The gap between each step being incomparably wide, as the captain of the first squad, his continuous progress was at the same time the progress of the whole team's fighting strength. When the squad had just been formed, everyone felt deep inside somewhat awkward calling Long Houchen captain. After all, aside from Kia, he was the youngest of the team. But as time passed, Long Houchen used his own strength and his performance on the battlefield to conquer everyone. By now, they were since long ago used to call him captain automatically. Long Houchen took a deep breath, keeping his happy feeling under control, and said with a smile, please test yourselves as well, everyone. Everyone tested their own internal spiritual energy, and as Gao Ingjia anticipated it, compared to the previous time, the progress they made was not small. Chen Ying's internal energy already reached the bottleneck of the 2000th level, and all that was left was for her to enter the fifth step. Han Yu's progress was not small either, from the 2271th level, he reached the 2390th, and in less than two months, his internal spiritual energy increased by 120 levels, making everyone full of envy. Compared to them, the progress of the others was considerable smaller. Wang Yuan Yuan progressed from 2160 to 2210, Lin Xin's internal spiritual energy only increased by 20, reaching 2405. As for Kia, her progress was not small. As the saint daughter of Samsara, her innate internal spiritual energy being 100, her cultivation speed was by nature not comparable to anyone else. After two months' time, her internal spiritual energy increased by 180, making it reach 2770, only second to Long Houchen's 3162. So far, Long Houchen's cultivation speed was already the best of the team. Although this time's increase was directly linked to his luck, his status within the team rose once again. More importantly, after possessing the light elemental fairy Yating, his future progress speed would increase to some extent. 
Having entered the sixth rank of the fifth step, Long Haochen's understanding about the internal spiritual energy was even greater. Gao Ingjie stood at Long Haochen's side, pointing ahead, and told them in a deep voice, Look. Looking at the situation outside the walls, Long Haochen, who previously looked relaxed, immediately became shocked. It wasn't only the Exorcist Mountain Pass that was calm, but the outside was also extremely calm. But it wasn't because the demon's main forces were withdrawing, rather the opposite. The demon's main forces were actually arranged neatly at the entrance of Exorcist Mountain Pass. In silence, an enormous samba and desolate mass was advancing continuously, charging forward in the direction of the Exorcist Mountain Pass. Today, the demons were against all expectations well organized. Right in the front, dual-bladed demons formed a dozens of square-shaped formations, and from the looks of it, their numbers exceeded at least 5,000. Behind these dual-bladed demons were ten groups of five hundred demonic eye soldiers. Then, at their back were Luke's stealthy demons. And as the formation progressed in depth, stronger demon tribes were present. Far in the back, Long Houchen faintly saw a dozen of colossus standing in silence. Even with such distance from the Exorcist Mountain Pass, these large demon silhouettes could vaguely be seen, their height actually surpassing fifty meters. The demon gathering wasn't only limited to the ground, but at the same time they were in the sky. The aerial gathering of a great amount of demon air force formed a black cloud covering the sky and shadowing the earth. But they were as calm as their peers. Magic birds, demonic eagles, dual-headed demonic eagles, beta-flying demons as well as many other kinds of flying demons were organized and separated by races. It seemed as if they were ready to attack at any time, once they received the command. Right in the middle of the demon air force were ten silhouettes, with a height above thirty meters. In a crazy way, they were black gigantic dragons. Seeing such a scene, Long Houchen's group couldn't help but take a deep breath. What were these demons planning? Why did the whole bunch come out for? More importantly, there were a lot of powerful demons who had never appeared on the battlefield before. In other words, this was the real main force of the demons. The tense atmosphere encircled the Exorcist Mountain Pass. Despite the fact that this mountain pass defense lasted for thousand years, the demon main army's battle formation this time was unprecedentedly powerful. In case they initiated the assault, a bloody battle was fated to happen. Everyone clenched their hands together around their weapons, silently waiting for them to approach. Long Houchen's group didn't dare to slack off, and arranged themselves in a proper defensive formation. In this large battlefield, their individual strength seemed negligible, but anyhow, they would do the best they could to kill many demons. This wasn't a question of contribution points, or at least not anymore. Defending the Exorcist Mountain was extremely important, involving the entire humanity. The atmosphere wasn't only tense on the city walls, but even in the high city gate tower. Xing Lingxin already recovered all his memories, calmly gazing at the scene from above. At his side were all the high-ranking military officers. All of them wore serious expressions, this time the opposing demon army was unprecedentedly formidable, they were obviously not only coming to acquire food for their population. Xing Lingxin revealed some doubt in his eyes, have the demon forces gone crazy? How could they gather so many army forces? Even the demon god emperor's personal soldiers, the black dragons, appeared. Have they made their preparations to go all out and destroy us at any cost? Hearing his grandfather's words, Xing Lingxin immediately had a flash of understanding, since this is the case, there should be higher odds for the second possibility. According to all the intelligence we gathered, the demons didn't show any signs of doing large-scale operations. If they really went all out to launch an all-out war, then the pressure would surely not come only to our exorcist mountain pass. Xing Yu nodded his head in praise, that's right, since this is the case, we just don't know for now what these demons are aiming for. Having brought innumerable forces to launch a surprise attack, let them bring it on. I just wonder who came this time. From my estimate, it is at least a demon god ranked within their top ten. Otherwise, they wouldn't be able to arrange such a formation. Xing Lingxin suddenly remarked, heroic senior, about the assassin temple over there. Xing Yu nodded his head to him, giving a reply, rest at ease, we already made preparations. If they really came for an all-out attack, my assassin temple will not end up decimated. Xing Lingxin loosened his breath, now, all that's left to do is to wait. At the time his grandson spoke, suddenly, 
Far in the rear of the battle formations, three massive light pillars rocketed to the sky, bringing strong radiances and spiritual energy eruptions. Even if they were quite distant from the city, everyone in it could still see it. The brilliances of the demon god's pillars. Even a hundred generals would only be able to change expressions in front of such a massive force. But their difference to ordinary people was that the latter would fall weakly to the ground while the first fought. These soldiers who went through hundreds of battles just held their weapons tightly, their blood boiling in front of such ferocious enemies. Those three demon gods were precisely the blazing demonic lion Alossa, the demonic winged mad bull Zagan, as well as the seventieth demon god, the evil demon Rhydasir. Previously, these three demon gods came in an attempt to handle the brilliant angel knight regiment, so Long Houchen naturally recognized them in a glance. They indeed deserved to be called demon gods. Their aura was unexpectedly able to cause a hundred thousands to be in such a state of excitement. This was Long Houchen's way of thinking. But in the city's tower, the face of the heroic assassin Xing Yu changed, not good don't tell me don't tell me that he came, at the same time great changes appeared on Xing Yu's face, behind those three shining demon god pillars, a dark golden brilliance was immediately lit brightly. This dark golden brilliance was just too massive, forming a thick light extending over a diameter of more than five kilometers. The instant it appeared, the bright sky became dark, the sun disappearing without traces as if shot down. The hundred thousand roaring demons felt as if their neck was suddenly cut off, and no sound was left. This scene of noise transforming instantly into silence appeared extremely bizarre. Although the demon soldiers didn't yell any longer, their eyes were filled with an identical blood color. From the smallest dual-bladed demons to the biggest black dragons, all of them without exception emitted an extremely frightening aura. Along with the ascending of that bright pillar, they entered a sort of bloodthirsty state. In front of that enormous dark golden pillar, the group of three gods led by the blazing lion Alossa seemed like an unremarkable gust of wind. Those three kneeled respectfully, facing the enormous dark golden pillar while disregarding the humans. What what is that? Too astonishing. This course of events was just too sudden and terrible. The most splendid scenes Long Houchen ever saw were the ones of his father, as well as the chief the alliance Yang Hao Han releasing their divine thrones. But compared to the terrible dark golden pillar of light, they were just far too inferior. That dark golden pillar of light quickly covered the whole sky, turning everything around it into darkness. Only the dark golden radiance emitted forward still provided some brightness to this world, and thus, the changes on this dark golden pillar looked all the more distinct. It was indeed too big. Even from a very far location, it could be seen distinctly. On the surface of the enormous and entirely dark golden-colored pillar were countless strange symbols. Even more significantly, on the enormous pillar of light, a gigantic dark golden dragon was creeping solemnly. No one could see exactly how enormous that massive dragon's body was. The terrifying pressure it released even caused the sky to sink, twisting unstoppably. What what kind of existence is that? Suddenly, bolts after bolts of azure lightning surrounded the dark golden pillar of light, glittering without interruption, and the massive dragon crawling on it started to move rhythmically. Even more spectacular was that the army of hundred thousands was immediately immersed into the twisted patterns, unexpectedly disappearing from their line of sight. No, more accurately, they should have become invisible. The heroic assassin Xing Yu's face was already completely pale. The fact that his aura alone could make the entire main demon forces invisible, and this enormous dark golden pillar of light confirmed one thing. The thing they were the most unwilling to see, it's him it's really him. The first ranked of the 72 demon gods and demon emperor, the devil dragon emperor Feng Xiu. He went as far as to come here personally. As they heard Xing Yu's words, all the officers on the city gate tower became overwhelmed with shock. Xing Lingxin's entire body swayed, and although he gritted his teeth, trying to contain his emotions, his two forcefully clenched hands were trembling. The first demon god and demon emperor, the demonic dragon emperor. This title would always belong to a single demon, the ruler of the 72 demon gods, as well as the most powerful existence of the entire demon army. The main reason why, in Xing Mordalu, humans were always in a vulnerable position was his existence. He was the one that couldn't be defeated, the unequalled representative of supremacy within the demons. That was Feng Xiu. The one this graceful name belonged to was the demon emperor standing at the summit of the demon's hierarchy. Reportedly, 
At the time the first demon god emperor, who descended to Shing Mordalu led the 72 demon gods, he originally didn't have this name. But after decimating the major part of the human population, he gave himself a human name. And all the generations of demon god emperors continued to use it, until today. From the very first generation of demon god emperors till now, this was the sixth demon god emperor. In his capacity of supreme leader of the demons, he could live for more than a thousand years. In the human history, except from the time when the sign of samsara appeared, causing the demon emperor's death, the other five demon god emperors, without exception, lived until dying of natural death, giving this position to someone of their later generation. And even the demon god emperor, who died from the heavy wounds caused by the sign of samsara died, because he was excessively old and had already passed the pinnacle of his life. The three words demon god emperor were in Shingmo Dalu an unequalled symbol of oppression. He was the ruler of the demons, an emblem of all the demons. So long as he would exist, humans would never dare to think of launching a counteroffensive. At the present time, this sixth demon god emperor was already aged and more than 700 years old, entering the most powerful period of his life. Who would have expected him to appear today in front of the exorcist mountain pass? It was no wonder that the demons would come with such a massive army, and that their formation would be so ordered. There was a single reason for this. Their absolute emperor was leading them, listen, humans of the exorcist mountain pass. Hand over all the creatures possessing three heads in your city, or else, not even an inch of grass will be left. A soft and pleasant voice, that could even be described as clear and melodious, as if coming from a chanting dragon, resounded. Exactly in the middle of this dark golden pillar of light, a silhouette slowly emerged. He moved unhurriedly, at a regular pace. Each of his steps steady, as if he was walking on the ground. His human-like silhouette didn't seem so tall, having a height of roughly 1.9 meter. The black hair extending to his back formed a sort of coiled waterfall. His gorgeous long black robe had faint purple glitter on it. His skin appeared extremely white, and his pair of blue eyes seemed filled with starlight coming directly from the universe. Every step he took didn't produce any noise. All the surroundings were completely silent, but everyone at the Exorcist Mountain Pass felt as if smashed by a meteorite falling from the sky. To one surprise, no one could muster up any desire for battle. This pressure reached everyone's innermost being. Confronting this demon god emperor, everyone's fears were aroused from the depths of their hearts. It was just too powerful, to the point that no one could maintain his willpower. Even the powerhouse of the ninth step, Xing Yu, was the same. At Long Houchen's side, Kia's body was trembling violently, a faintly discernible killing intent unceasingly emanated from her body. Long Houchen was greatly alarmed, immediately thinking of the reason for it. It was surely that the demon god emperor's aura had stimulated the dagger of samsara in her body. If the demon god emperor discovered the existence of the dagger of samsara, Kia would never be able to contend against him. Having this fear in his heart, at this time Long Houchen didn't hesitate. Pulling Kia into his embrace, and holding her tightly, he released his internal spiritual energy, trying to cover Kia's body with it as completely as possible. But the strange thing was that the fear Long Houchen felt seemed to be a lot weaker than the fear other people experienced. Seeing the demon god emperor advance step by step, the fear in him was instead inferior to his curiosity. All of the companions at his side could only do their utmost to stay conscious, as he still had the energy to hold Kia, helping her withstand the agitation of the dagger of samsara. Feng Xiu's face was extremely handsome, having no flaw at all. But this handsomeness differed completely from Long Houchen's. The handsome face of this demon god emperor carried an incomparable pride. Having an absolute demonic presence, his appearance was unquestionably awe-inspiring, the exorcist mountain pass is graced with your esteemed presence, demon god emperor. This is truly an honor for our city. After Xing Yu took a single step across the wall, he was unexpectedly already in mid-air. In spite of the fear completely infesting his heart, he did so, because the only one capable of facing the demon god emperor in the entire exorcist mountain pass was him. At the demon god emperor's back, the terrible light pillar reaching five kilometers in diameter glinted. The gigantic black dragon sculpture, on it was his figure seen from behind, you are the current chief of the assassin temple. Feng Xiu's voice was as pleasant as before, without the slightest aggressivity, that is right, this elder's name is Xing Yu. At Xing Yu's back, an enormous grey dagger glistened, sharp aura bursting forth from it, 
stopping the aura released by the demon god emperor in their direction. But all the people sideways from him could see that the aura bursting forth from Xing Yu only spread to an area of 10 meters. This was how clear the gap between the demon god emperor and him was. You heard my dignified words. As for the matter of eliminating you humans, or not, I am not in a hurry. From my dignified point of view, you are nothing more but livestock I raise. Everything will be done as I said before. If I find the thing I am looking for, I will consider letting your exorcist city off. Xing Yu's eyes were filled with an unsettled expression. He was fully aware of how wide the gap existing between the demon god emperor and himself was, but under such circumstances, could they really come to a compromise? At the city walls, at least dozens of looks were focused on Long Houchen. Three-headed creature. Could it be that he is speaking of Long Houchen's mount? But it's only a magical beast of the sixth step. How could it gain the attention of an existence such as the demon god emperor? The demon god emperor displayed a wicked smile, this dignified emperor will give you a time of ten seconds. If ten seconds later, I don't have a reply, today will be the last day of your exorcist mountain pass. Suddenly Xing Yu was drenched in sweat. He knew that if he fulfilled these terms, he would never be able stand straight in the Temple Alliance ever again. But if he didn't, the hundred thousands of military and civilians, as well as the foundation of the Assassin Temple would very possibly be wiped out completely. It was a hard decision to make, and the imposing aura bursting forth from Xing Yu's body was fluctuating unstably as a reaction to his inner conflict. 9. Suddenly, a few light words resounded, His Majesty really has quite a lot of time for leisure. Only, if you want to destroy our exorcist mountain pass, I'm afraid even you should consider it thoroughly. This sudden voice sounded somewhat aged, but was quite relaxed. In the next instant, six radiances suddenly burst forth, and shot out violently from before the Exorcist Mountain Pass. At some point, under the Exorcist Mountain Pass main gate, six people appeared. Now, these six propelled to the sky, surrounded by their respective radiances, and confronting the Demon God Emperor. Seeing them appear, the Demon God Emperor stopped in his counting game, his face appearing quite sinister, it looks like you, old guys, are still alive. Do you really believe this emperor won't dare kill you? The demon god emperor declared coldly. In front of him, the aged voice kept speaking, being the first powerhouse under heaven, his majesty will naturally dare. Why would he not? Only, in terms of age, we are far inferior to his majesty. The words, old guys are inacceptable. At that time, the six silhouettes had already ascended above the city walls, and the earth-shattering oppressive power was immediately blocked. A knight clad in a dazzling orange armor was in the front. This knight had a tall and imposing stature, and including his head, his whole body was covered with an armor. In his left hand, he carried an orange-colored shield, and in his right hand was an enormous blade reflecting the radiance of the sunlight. Nine lumps of light were lit across the enormous sword's body, carrying the brilliance of nine little suns. The most astonishing was the mount under him. That was a real red dragon, surpassing 50 meters in size, its body surrounded by blazing red light. And even more astonishingly, this red dragon's aura merged with its orange armored companion perfectly. At the knight's side was a warrior even exceeding him in grandeur. Clad in a blue-violet armor also covering his whole body, he was exceeding 2.2 meters in height, his both shoulders being extremely broad. Even if he was partly hidden by his armor, he could still make anyone feel that his strength was terrifying enough to tear heaven and earth. The demon god emperor snorted coldly, do you have the determination to confront this emperor today? The knight's aged voice sounded once again, as he replied unenthusiastically, we naturally don't wish for it. After all, we don't have the certainty that we will be able to kill your majesty, but your majesty should also be clear about the fact we have at least a 20% chance to take your majesty out with us and a 30% chance to inflict you serious damage. If your majesty has the resolve to wipe our exorcist mountain out, we humans won't hesitate to unleash the thousand years of power we saved, letting a holy war against demons unfold. And you, demons, won't necessarily be the final victors of it, 20% certainty to take the demon god emperor down by themselves. This number sounded simply excessively weak. But hearing it, the officers and soldiers of the Exorcist Mountain Pass were shaken excessively. What kind of existence was the demon god emperor? That was their undefeatable enemy, but the six human powerhouses before their eyes actually had odds to take him down by themselves. 
they could only be incredibly strong. To everyone's surprise, the demon god emperor stood silent, displaying a pondering mind. From this little detail, it could be seen that the demon god emperor had some fear to battle these six people. Despite the fact that a certainty of 20% was not very high, in case he died suddenly, the blow inflicted to the demon's side would be incomparable. Over the past thousand years, the human six great temples' development was fast, and demons already had some difficulty to contend against the humans in the course of the Great War. Most of all, humans possessed a great amount of magic weapons that possessed a great killing power against demons. The demon god emperor's voice was calm and clearly cold, but listening to him, the six human powerhouses felt greatly shaken. Compared to the demon god emperor, who felt some restraining fear towards them, they felt at least ten times more afraid of him. Among humans, they were the only ones who could possibly contend against the demon god emperor at the present time. In case they died in the exorcist mountain pass, without inflicting the demon god emperor serious damage, no human at the mountain passes would possibly be able to block the demon chief's offense. Truly an ending benefiting none of the two sides, humans and demons were both unwilling to see it come to this. It would just end up as a war until total extermination of one of the two sides. The six human powerhouses became silent. A faint golden radiance spread around the knight's body, enveloping the six of them in it as if they were planning on discussing the situation among themselves. A short time later, the knight acting as their head replied to him, Okay, please search for it, your majesty. We won't block you no matter what. They didn't know what the demon god emperor was looking for, but if the exorcist mountain pass really had this thing he was looking for, it wouldn't be too late to decide whether to hand it over to him or not. Conversely, if the demon god emperor didn't find anything, the danger confronting them would naturally be settled without a fight. No other humans understood the demon god emperor better than them. This demon emperor attached at least some importance to his reputation. He would never bear to let his dignity be offended. The demon god emperor snorted coldly, and a moment later, the black in the sky spread again. The whole sky above the exorcist mountain turned black, and shapeless fluctuations of mental force arose abruptly, covering each corner of the exorcist mountain pass, like gusts of rain. Long Houchen immediately felt, as if he had been enveloped in a boundless ocean, as if that massive mental force was breaking him open. In the middle of this huge and boundless energy, he felt as if he was disappearing. And everyone else felt similarly as Long Houchen, their faces turning pale. This was the frightening level the strength of his mental energy reached. Suddenly, Long Houchen felt his entire body lighting up, and immediately, his 3,000 units of internal energy flowed out madly, following a strange orbit. On his forehead, a trace of light appeared vaguely. It was not a purple one, but rather a golden one. The attention of the people around was focused on the demon god emperor and the six humans, so naturally, no one paid attention to this change on Long Houchen's body. But Long Houchen's face changed greatly. He could feel that it was precisely Hao Yue who was borrowing his force. Thinking of the fact the demon god emperor was looking for a three-headed magical beast, Long Houchen felt secretly overwhelmed with horror. Could it be that this demon ruler is really looking for Hao Yue? This video will end here. Thank you for watching.